Today we're going to test ChatGPT, Claude and Gemini on a pretty abstract computer vision test. So here we have something you might have seen on Facebook or social media at some point. It's one of these little quizzes where we have some abstract block figures and they are all representing different TV and pop culture characters. They've given us number three, Batman. So I'm going to be pretty disappointed if we can't even get one out of 20 correct. If you haven't done this before, maybe pause the video, see how many of these 20 you can get correct. We'll look at the answers and then we'll see how each of the large language models did. Okay, so hopefully you had a go yourself. Let's have a look at the actual answers. And some are pretty straightforward. We can see The Simpsons, Super Mario Brothers. We're looking normally at a combination of the colours and also how many different characters we've got there. They already told us Batman, we've got Tintin and Snowy, Dexter and Dee Dee from Dexter's Lab. So some of these are pretty old. We've got Wallace and Gromit, we've got Family Guy. Number eight's the first one that I think's probably a wee bit tricky and suspect. So Tom and Jerry is the official answer. And you can kind of see it once you know the answer. Before that, it might have been struggling. We've got Buzz and Woody, we've got the Flintstones. Number 11 is the next one that's maybe a little bit questionable, mainly just because of the colouring just depending on what you're looking at this on, this looks not quite red enough for Deadpool, in my mind. Uh, but we've got Deadpool, so it's the next one that, just even for humans, is probably a bit tricky. We've got Minions, we've got South Park. Pinky and the Brains, maybe a bit of an obscure one, so that was probably a bit tricky. We've got Futurama. 16, Danger Mouse. Wee bit obscure, so Danger Mouse and Penfold. I'd imagine a lot of people didn't get that. Uh, we've got Mickey and Minnie Mouse. This is probably, 18 is, to me, the most questionable, Bugs Bunny. And if you think it's something other than Bugs Bunny, let me know in the comments, because I thought that was a pretty questionable one. But then we've got Star Wars and Star Trek to round it out. So for each of the large language models, I gave them the image. I gave them a very brief prompt, so I wasn't making it easy for them. And it's going to be pretty tricky. They've got to be able to decipher here's the box, here's what's within the box, get the colours and the patterns, and then try and match it up. So I think this is going to be pretty hard. Let's see how they do. Okay, so here's ChatGPT. We can see I gave the same prompt to each of the three. So identify the 20 movie TV pop culture groups in this image. And we can see it's got The Simpsons, it's got Batman. Didn't get two, didn't get four. I do like that it has tried to explain its decision making. So as we come down and as we come down, we see that they get kind of more and more off kilter from what they should be. But it's explained each time. Here's the colors. And so I saw these colors and then I tried to max, match these colors up. And the logic that it's used actually kind of makes a bit of sense. If we have a look at Claude, similarly, it's got Simpsons, it's got Mario and Luigi, it's got Batman. So it made a good start again and then kind of goes off kilter. Interestingly with Claude, when it's less sure, we start to get these looks like, maybe, could be. So it's it's kind of indicating that it's not confident about its guesses as well. And then Gemini, Gemini didn't give any explanation. So it just went straight into here is a list of the stuff, but then it said, would you like me to explain how I did this? So it took a slightly different approach. So let's see how they did. ChatGPT, Simpsons, Batman, other than that, really off kilter. Claude, Simpsons, Mario, Batman, and it also got South Park as well. So interesting that it did better. We wouldn't expect any of them to do all that well with a brief prompt and a very challenging activity. And Gemini, Simpsons, Batman. For each of them, I then went back and tried to do a little bit more prompting. I indicated which ones they had got correct and also tried to explain the process they should be going with. So highlighting that as well as the colors and patterns, they should also be thinking about how many characters are there and the size of the characters and things like that. With the extra prompting, ChatGPT was able to identify minions. But other than that, it was just really a reshuffle of some of the same characters as before so overall we would give all of them a failing grade claude though got four we might say batman and particularly with claude where they said confirmed they have um they're indicating that we already told them batman so really there was three that they genuinely got i think this could be an interesting test for future iterations of these models to see if they improve with this kind of abstract reasoning off a pretty abstract puzzle
I thought though at the end here just to show that they can actually be useful or chat GPT at least uh, I gave it a chance to try and redeem itself and I think it did okay. So out of my travels I met this guy and I was curious if this was a llama or an alpaca and I put the photos and you can see I've got a couple there. I put those into Google and tried Google Lens and Google Lens somewhat unhelpfully said oh it's a llama or an alpaca but I actually wanted to know which one of those two things that it was. And so I thought I would try ChatGPT. So just in the app, fed it in the photo, said, what is this? And it said llamas. And I thought I would challenge it a little bit. And I like that it is getting much better with not just being agreeable. Once upon a time, if I said, oh, is this an alpaca? I would have said, oh yeah, sorry, you're right. Uh, but instead, it gave me the reasons why it decided that it was a llama and not an alpaca. So we've got the height, the face shape, the fur. And the ears are one of the big giveaways in addition to the height. These guys were comfortably as tall as me. And I'm pretty confident I'm not three feet tall. So it's also a bit of a giveaway. So that was nice to see after ChatGPT had failed in its somewhat abstract computer vision problem. Coming back to something that was maybe a little bit more reasonable. It did a good job and was able to then give some good explanation on top. So that's it for today. Hopefully you found this interesting. Keen to know how many out of 20 of those pictures you were able to identify. Let me know in the comments. I'll be back really soon with lots more videos on AI stats, data research and random stuff.